Good evening, everybody. It is I, your Lord Commander, on Scene Strike. And you are watching the Dawn of War Stronghold. Today, I got a good game for you. I believe this is a, uh, a 4v4 or a 3v3. Let me double check. It is a 3v3. Here we go. I have rectangles. Rihanna and Knight versus Buff, Frenic, and more rectangles. My lord, I did not study enough geometry in high school to get here and do this today. Sure, our editor will track them down one day. Who knows? Eh, worse that happens, we'll figure it out. Um, anyway, I forget the name of this map. I do enjoy this map for 3v3s. Um, we have our Dark Eldar. We have orcs in the middle, and we have space marines on the flank. I do like orcs in the mid. They get tech up to flash, gets and stuff. So, as with most team uh, team games, the middle player has the freedom to tech or push out on the flanks uh, and support his, one or two of his teammates. We have the Dark Eldar here on this left flank versing another Dark Eldar, and the Dark Eldar player is using his uh, race, racial ability to build Necron generators quicker. This is gonna help the Necron player tech up faster with extra gens. The Space Room player, while they may push in and destroy these two gens. Oh, he canceled the gen. Interesting. Uh, the Space Room player won't overwhelmingly win the battle. They'll be like, oh, where's his other generators? Well, here they are. He's already got three gens almost fully built. And then we have another Space Room player in the mid. So, here we go, everybody. Again, we see another Oh, no, he just insta-built. Okay, so we have ooh, a Necron turret here. So this map is a big circle. Uh, both uh, lanes on the left and right-hand side clash. The middle is a super long walk, and it does eventually end up being paths into each other's bases. We have warriors coming out with an Archon for this Dark Eldar. Uh, is this Dark Eldar doing anything? He's, getting, he's going Mandrake. So Mandrake versus warriors. This Necron turret here is going to be huge. What's our work player doing in the middle? Do we see a Big Mech? Big Mech is cooking. How about our Space Marines? We have some uh, some Raven Guard here. And here we go. The culling of Necron Scarabs begins. They're shooting their pea shooters. Realistically, those Scarabs could have capped that. I don't know why they ran. Uh, interestingly enough, he can't. I guess he canceled that gen to put a turret up. And then he's, he's just continuing his generator lifestyle. Uh, I don't like Necron players, fun fact. I don't know if anybody knows this. They deserve what they get. So we have Space Marines going through the mid. We see Scarabs floating around everywhere trying to be greedy and cap. We have Imperial Fists on the opposite side of the battlefield. And what's our Orc player doing? The Orcs, I think, are going to be the pivotal, pivotal unit, pivotal faction uh, in this matchup here. And we have our Warriors here lining up. I don't remember right now what the El Dark Eldar's detector unit is. I don't see any Mandrakes currently, but that's because I'm not from that point of view. Mandrakes are just floating around. We have combat up here. Force Commander versus Necron. Double Force Commanders. Necron Warriors getting slapped around. I don't see any Space Marines, though. That concerns me. Where are your Space Marines, sir? They're coming out now. Okay. So Space Marines coming out. Uh, Force Commander on Force Commander Violence here. Knight here, the Raven Lord, uh, Raven Guard are going to lose this Force Commander, unfortunately, unless he pulls back. He's super heavily damaged. On the other flank, Orcs are here on the weak and fleshy Dark Eldar exterior. Uh, underneath the, uh, what, 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 would the what, what would that be called? The under the undercarriage of the Dark Eldar. Dark Eldar is super weak, especially compared to Orcs. He's going Scourges, uh, almost like the Dark Reapers with jetpacks. Nice build here, but I mean, there's orcs in your face. Orcs actually flying around everywhere here. And this opens up room for the other Dark Eldar player to move in with a Homoculus. This is a detector unit. And look at this Scourge. They need to fly away. He needs to maintain the Scourge numbers here. In the middle, we have orcs capping up, moving across, just looting and pillaging and doing general orc stuff. Shooter boys here. Scourges will rip through all of this infantry. And look at this, all these Necron generators are getting punched down. Uh, Necron player doesn't seem to care. As always with Necrons, they don't really care. They're just going to keep doing whatever they want. Normally it's hard to... Look at this! Space Marines! I love it! Look at this, what is this? Is this three squads of Space Marines? A Servitor pushing up? Love to see it. And as always, Necron player just is just not... They don't care. They really just... They're just the worst teammates, the worst race. 
No, no singular cares in the world. Both flanks being pushed. Uh, the middle Imperial Fist player has to choose, does he defend the stronger late game race in the Necrons or let his teammate just get ravaged? Uh, he does have the Scourges up. Archon's about to go down. Archon is another, again, we don't see a lot of Dark Eldar games. Archon is another command squad type unit where you can add on uh, bodyguards. Here's the Scourges and they're just going to rip into everything that doesn't have... Ooh. Fear Grenade comes in, breaks morale on the squad, which is pretty useful. Big Mech for some reason attacking the HQ. Needs to start working on these scourges with his ranged shooters. Here we go, the mass space marines here. Shooting into the Necron ball. Uh, we need to see that 1-1 upgrade out of the Necrons if we want to see any kind of hope of fighting this back. Especially with a force commander nestled in there. Space marines are pushing up. What's happening here? Nothing coming out of the juices yet. Armory coming down. Orcs teching it up with many wah banners. Stealth Mandrakes going after a Homoculus Lab. Oh, you silly Dark Eldar. Orcs rampaging against this poor Dark Eldar player. And the Scourges are getting picked off by this Big Mac. And they can fly around all they want. Space Marine player from the Imperial Fists actually ran all the way over here to defend his Dark Eldar. This is a good teammate. This is what you want to see. I know I'm making fun of this play. This is good. You want to be standing with your teammates, but the Space Marine ball here is starting to get pretty scary. Uh, I do want to keep an eye on his armory choices. I do want to go over to him because that's going to be key with what happens with this push. Uh, at this point, I'd just say get some flamers and finish the Necron player off. Necron players, you can see, just still building generators and being just a Necron player. And Grey Knight's out, so the Imperial Fist player quick teched up. This Dark Eldar is going to lose his Homoculus. Oh boy, Grey Knights are scary, but if this player doubles down, he could put a lot of pressure on this Necron, maybe win the game. Um, you know, even a 3v3, whoever, if you knock somebody out, there's a, a much higher chance of victory. Big Mech is still back here ravaging the Dark Eldar tech and economy. Orc player is just slowly wan up the map. Here we go. We have plasma pistols and a health increase. Orcs are getting a melee increase. And he also got his tier 2 increase. So there's a chaplain now with this ball. Sergeant's up. We're going to see three plasma pistols on this squad. And that's going to rip through uh, the Necrons. I don't see the plus 1, plus 1 upgrade on Necrons yet. So, as always, Necrons just keep building generators. And, you know, doing their thing. They're pushing back the orcs here. Nice hold here by, uh, I'm going to say this is team 2. The team up here. Really nice hold. Like to see that. Like to see the teamwork. Scourges are now free to just unleash... I hear him flying around. Okay, the Raven Guard has that Rhino. And here we go. Orcs are now pushing. Heavy Bolters are going to start ripping through these Necron structures. Necron player is still just... Oh, Lord. Oh, my Lord. Oh, God. Why do they always do this to me? Goodness, goodness, why do Necron players do this? Why? Look, so this turret's now coming up really late. This Necron player has had 7 minutes and 50 seconds to prepare for this Raven Guard push. And they're just now getting a turret. And here we go. The Necron's going to really feel the heat. While the pressure here is starting to turn back onto the other Dark Eldar team, uh, these Mandrakes are actually doing work. They have the, I believe that's the Mandrake Poison and Mandrake Rage ability. They're scary in melee. You don't want to mess with them no more. Orcs are pushing through the mid here on the other Dark Eldar base. They kind of just shifted pressure. Orcs are being real cheeky. The Scourges, if he can maintain these Scourge numbers, he will eventually put the Orcs down. And here we go. The Grey Knights are now pushing back. There's a Librarian. You don't see that too often. All three commanders. And here we go. He's going to try and snipe the Librarian quickly. Oh! I, I think he juggled that correctly. He's juggling the in the Rhino whenever any real pressure hits him, but he needs to pull back, kind of just preserve his squads. Maybe put a, a turret or two down. He's taking a lot of damage. He just needs to hold. He's getting another Rhino out. His team, I want to say, is winning here. Scourge is caught by Storm Boys. Nice, nice. More Scourges. I like this solitary Space Marine squad over here helping out to keep the Orcs at bay. There's a missile launcher, so if any Orc vehicles or Dark Eldar vehicles come out, he can at least help. Uh, look at this, his number's severely depleted, but he's holding up in a severely large... Oh, Necrons are just teching. He's holding up this Grey Knight army. 
Uh, if these Grey Knights make it over here, they're going to push the balance back. But again, look, now he could just drive back in and put more pressure on. So nice, nice unit preservation by the Raven Guard. Even has two squads of Space Marines here in mid to help defend. And Necron player still doesn't have 1-1 one, one upgrades. And look at the damage they'll do. Yeah, Necron Warriors are free, but the time it takes to make them is the true cost. A lot of Storm Boy play. I do like this. Still in the El Dark Eldar base. And here we go. I want to see where the Space Marine Army goes. Do they go right for the Dark Eldar? Or do they push into the Orc base? These Mandrakes are just ravaging the economy of the both these teams back here. And there they go. They're gone. Just like that. Don't discredit Mandrakes. Don't sleep on them. They can be quite dangerous. The Raven Guard player has four Space Marine squads loaded up and ready to go. Three minutes until and let's see if he can take out this space, the uh, Necrons here. And this yellow scout from the... Imperial Fist player is going to see this. And if we can just oh, destroy Immortals out, they're going to try and wreck these Rhinos, but this is a lot of Space Marines to fight. Orcs got wrecked. What a time to check that. A Smite and the Grey Knight's uh, Vortex ability ravaged those Storm Boys. And it looks like a, a, a Shooter Boy squad. That was not cheap, although Storm Boys made it. I see Land Speeder Tempests flying out now, the cheese. And here we go, Storm Boys in the back line now. Gonna try and go for some gens, take another Space Marine squad out. Space Marines here, pressing through, killing workers, take out a couple gens. We could take these summoning cores out. Necrons are crippled for another three minutes to do absolutely nothing. Do we have any vehicles coming out from the Raven Guard? Hellfire Dreadnought's queued, nothing crazy coming yet. Eco's at 154.60 for this Space Marine player. Necron is still being a Necron. 167.79 for the Imperial Fist Space Marine. And some sluggas are fighting it out with the Space Marine Commander here. Not where you want to see it. The knob's going to die, but he's going to do some big damage with that Power Claw. Oof. I want to say the Orc does not have all the, the health upgrades. He died pretty quick, even though it was a Power Sword. And look, this Space Marine, the Imperial Fist, has to keep running all the way back across the map. Because this Necron player, shocker, here we go, here we go. We're going to see another Smite queued up. Nothing yet. Those Grey Knights are not cheap to reinforce. Chaplain breaks morale. Morale is restored by the Sergeant. And yeah, these precious Grey Knight models are getting chewed up. He's keeping the Scarab models down. The Solar Burst goes off so this whole army can't shoot. He needs to pull back. I don't think he really fully realizes it. Landspeeder Tempest is coming out with uh, Frag Grenades. So useful against all this infantry. Hellfire, Dreadnought. Coming in clutch, shooting them up. How's this battle going? I don't think they know that there's Mandrakes really destroying them right now. Uh, this Mandrake squad, I want to say, is the MVP as they get gunned down. I said they were doing so well and they get murdered. Uh, and he's slowly picking away all these, these Imperial Fists. I'd like to see a summoning court taken down here. Necron player just has queued up Scarabs. Oh, Necrons are awful. Please, please, please don't play the Necrons. Orcs are getting their vehicles up finally. Here we go. They're still fighting. Mandrakes and Witch Squads are taking out the uh, Team 1's Dark Eldar. And Team 1 brought their Scourges back with Shooters. Witches are very expensive. For free, basically, they're getting murdered. 60-15 on their cost. Uh, nice pressure. And Space Marines are still duking it out here. It looks like the Imperial Fists have the upper, upper hand. And I think that's just because they're hero units, but... Raven Guard still have quite a bit of heavy bolters to shoot them down. What's their what's their backup plan? Another Hellfire Dreadnought coming in. But look at this. This Raven Guard player is keeping two armies. Well, if you count the Necrons having an army, but two full units worth. Look at this fight. Love to see it. Marines flying everywhere. We're gonna hide the, the little toolbar. Hellfire Dreadnought getting shots in on the flank. Beautiful fight. Look at this. Marines fighting to the last. Imperial Fist decides to come in into close range with those Grey Knights. Look at this. Bolter's firing. Chaplin is going into the charge. He will not fall today as a grenade takes him out. Here we go. That Landspeeder Tempest is getting its worth. Heavy Bolter's firing point blank. We got the Force Commander for the Imperial Fists fighting them off with his Power Sword. Necron Warriors finally joining the fray. This battle's been going on for two minutes, and I think that's the first Necron unit we've seen fight back. Chaplin. Does he live? We saw a sergeant go down. Heavy, or oh, just a normal destroyer coming out, and the Raven Guard player has to fall back. 
This Lance Vitor Tempest is the MVP. This Heavy Bolter up here in the Frag Missiles doing work. Another Heavy Bolter squad coming in, slowly picking them off. Um, meanwhile, on the other side, Orcs and Dark Eldar picking off Team 2's Dark Eldar. And we're going to see here, this is going to be key. Does he pursue Raven Guard into their base, or does he mount back up into his Rhinos and drive across the map? Orcs are decapping everything. This Archon in close combat is no joke, but a big mech with a knob unit is, is even scarier. He's pushing people away. And there we go. Dark Eldar player taps out. And there we go. But the enemy team capitulates. Uh, I really like that battle we saw there. I, I, I honestly... If that went on for a few more minutes, I think the Imperial Fist player would have won. And yeah, he is angry rectangles. I don't blame him. I don't even know who that is. <laughs> Which one was that? You know who that was. Yeah, he has his Terminators up. I really think that he could have done a better, uh, a good job. Not a better job. He did a good job. Uh, the Necron player, as always, makes me very sad. Did the Terminators come here? Yeah, there we go. Terminators are down. Storm Boys are going to be eviscerated if they stay. He could still clutch this. Storm Boys activate their speed boost. Something you don't see too, too often. He's got two Land Speeder Tempests. He's got Termies. Uh, he's just got to make a quick push. I think he, he might have a chance to maybe take these Dark Elder out. This poor worker here is repairing the HQ. And now the only problem is Mega Armored Knobs are going to get gunned down by these Terminators. And they're running away, as they should. I don't know, Mega Armored Knobs are a pretty niche unit. I don't think they're uh, all that. Nice. Storm Boys here getting in on the Plasma Gens, putting a little pressure on. And here we go. Raven Guard Bat wants round two. His Terminators are here. Let's see. Does he run his unit, his, his melee Terminators into these Grey Knights? At least we get a photo finish here. That's what I like to see. Termi's coming in versus Grey Knights. A Valiant Last Stand. Let's see. Does he pop word of the Emperor? It looks like he did. I can't tell. We have the Grey Knights Maelstrom Tempest here. Just wrecking havoc. He juggles them back into the Rhino. Landspeeder Tempest still worth their weight in requisition. Smite goes down on the enemy Terminator squad. It's just not enough. And the Grey Knights actually did a really nice job versus the melee Terminators there. Uh, granted, the assault Terminators here for uh, the Imperial Fists were shooting the autocannons right point blank into them. Uh, damn, Raven Guard player. If he got a couple missile launchers, I feel like that game would have been much shorter. Um, especially that one land speed of Tempest. I wish we could see. Uh, I wish we could see kills. Oh, excuse me. I wish we could see kills on some of those units. That one land speed of Tempest was flying over the battlefield. Look at the just clumps of, of space marines for the Raven Guard player that went down. I mean, there's a good amount of uh, Imperial Fist space marines here. But man, oh man, the, those frag grenades don't sleep on them. I feel like the Hellfire Dreadnoughts didn't do a lot. See a Predator here as well. Anyway, good game to all these players. Got to see a nice battle there with all those Space Marine players. As always, the Necrons make me very sad. We'll check over. Here's the general screen. Looking good, looking good. Fancy, fresh, fresh. We'll check the military. Who was this? Was he the Raven Guard player on Team 1? He was. He had the most kills. He was doing a lot of fighting. I like the Orc Dark Eldar player, though. You normally don't see a lot of Storm Boys like that. Uh, backed up with the Dark Eldar players, Warriors, and Scourge. That was a nice play. And uh, we'll check the technology. I wonder which one was the Necron player. Do we remember? Oh, Re Frenetic was the Necron player type in rectangles. You bastard! How could you do this? No! Necron player just builds gents, as always. Anyway, it's been me, Unseen Strike, the Lord Commander. Uh, I got one more of these for today for you guys. So this is the end of this video, and uh, I'll see you next time. Leave a like, leave a comment below, let me know.